guess, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. Meyer. Here. Fireball. Here. Potter. Here. Sheriff. Here. Spiegel. Here. Young. Here. Okay. Before you, you have the rules and procedures for the Desire City Council. Yeah. I apologize, sir. Yep. Sorry. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, we have minutes before you as well. January 18th, regular council minutes. Anybody have any additions or corrections? Madam President. Yes, sir. On all three of the sets of minutes, the uh, link to the audio recording does need to be added to the top. So I would say that uh, I would move to amend all three of those to include the audio link to be included. I'll second that. And you're approving all three at once? No, I'm making a motion to amend all three and then okay. we can both okay. to approve as amended. All right. So all three amendments, motion by Mr. Myers, second by Mr. McKeever. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? No, she carries. All right. So, as amended, January 18th, 2022, to have the audio link listed. Does anybody else have any other additions or corrections? If not, I'd entertain a motion to accept. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. January 20th, special council meeting as amended with the website at the top. We have a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. January 27th with the website audio link at the top as amended may I have a motion to approve so moved second McKeever Brenton okay all those in favor aye any opposed <coughs> motion carries granting permission for visitors to speak If you I'm would Jim just Richardson. I live at 316 River Street. I'm here today. First thing I want to get across is the splash park that you were talking about last week. I think it's a great thing. I just found out about it. I personally am going to donate to it, and I'm going to start putting the word out. <coughs> but I'm here tonight because, one thing, I live in this beautiful 200-year-old city. I think it looks great. I think it has plenty of parks. I have no qualms with this town whatsoever. We've got plenty of walk paths, but my issue tonight is my streets. I pay $5 of tax on my license plates to drive on these streets, and I kind of feel they're mine and anybody else that lives in this town. So my biggest street concern is East Mansfield Street. We've got businesses just keep building out that way. We've got all these part stores, Miller's Drive-In, two banks. But we're forgetting one very important thing. It's on East Mansfield Street, and that's the Ohio Health Health Urgent Care. And I'm here because Councilperson Sherrod and the mayor had discrepancies about where our money should be spent. She was talking about people walking alongside the street and on the street. Mayor, his words? I've never seen that. Well, I have. I've almost run over three or four people on that street, let alone putting up with irresponsible drivers that are texting. 
It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. I hate driving that street. When you go out there, any time of the day, there's 15 cars that'll go through one light, and you've got car after car after car. Now, the urgent care, when that got put in, I thought for sure that the city would take the responsibilities and put a sidewalk in, so if a mother has a sick baby, she can walk out there safely. But yet, we got you guys arguing over $605,000. $605,000 is cheap. So I know people to give a million to give their loved ones back from the dead. It's ridiculous. There shouldn't be no argument about sidewalks on Mansfield Street. They should be put in, period. We've got three county commissioners that agree. So I'm telling you, all of you, you need to get your priorities right, redirect them. I would like for each and every one of you to do your elected responsibilities. And I want you to put the needs and the safety of the people of Bucyrus first and get those pedestrians off my streets. Because if I accidentally run over a baby, it ain't going to be pretty. And I've had children run out in front of me. And I'm begging you, please, do something about East Mansfield Street before somebody does get killed. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Jim Richardson. Vicki Deshawn, 1108 Hillcrest Drive. I have a prepared speech, which I'm going to read in a few minutes, but I have a couple questions first. Um, the council rules of procedure that you just approved, why were those not on the council agenda? So I, we actually forgot to include them. We just realized, I have a copy if you'd like it, but we just got them in the packets before this meeting. That was my fault. I forgot to put them on the agenda. Like we actually, if you notice on the agenda you have, I had to read you the front page even. It was just something we just caught. Okay. Um, I think the public should know that with the passage of these council rules of procedure, um, council has now decided that when the public wants to come up and speak, we were allowed five minutes before, now we're only allowed three minutes. <coughs> And because I didn't know that this was going to be passed tonight, very possibly my prepared speech will go over the three minutes. And I'm hoping that um, I will be allotted the time to finish my reading. On January the 20th, 2022, the Special Ad Hoc Committee on Council Rules and Procedures met to discuss Council Rules and Procedures and BCO 111 and 113 as identified in the meeting notice. At this meeting, committee member Myers stated that he and the council clerk would work on making all the changes discussed, send an email with the changes to committee members, council members, and myself, so we would have appropriate time to look over and notify immediately of anything missed before the scheduled January 27th 2022 special ad hoc committee meeting. I did not receive that email with the changes for my review and comment. Can you explain why an email was not sent to me? No, I don't have an answer for you. I, I sent it on to the committee members and to the, the clerk and I did not send it anywhere else. Even though you stated it at the January 20th meeting, that I would be included in that email. You're correct. Okay, also the packet containing the changes to the rules of council did not appear on documents on demand for the January 27, 2022 special ad hoc committee meeting. Can you explain why this was not done? Actually, can Oversight. I ask that? Okay, so you're saying like on the 27th packet it wasn't included? 
the only thing was the agenda, was not the corrected okay. rules of procedure. That, again, was m my error. I don't know what happened. I'll check through and see why, why I must have only opposed to the agenda. That's my fault. I'm learning. I really, and it, I, I will take the fault here, but it's it's a process. I think everybody's really it's trying to work together right process. now. Okay. And 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 I and I totally understand that. It's just, it's being done on everything else. I'm looking at all the committee meetings, and there's the agenda packet. And it's got all the attachments for the annexation of, you know, the interim law director's property. <sighs> Transparency is not happening here. And there's too much of this. I'm sorry, I forgot. And you're doing a lot of forgetting when it comes to seeing that I receive things that you say I'm going to receive or that you say you're going to put on documents on demand. That's, that's, that's just how I see it. Further, in reading the October 19th, 2021 Bussara City Council regular meeting minutes, I found the following. Law Director's Report. Gernert then spoke on the procedure for minutes. He suggested that the video or audio format is not a consideration that he would recommend. McKeever asked if this could be handled by finance committee or if there should be an ad hoc committee formed. Vermillion named an ad hoc committee with Sherry, Myers, McKeever, and me. The following special ad hoc committee meetings were scheduled to discuss policies and procedures, council's rules and procedures, BCO 111 and 113, and BCO sections 111 and 113, as identified in the meeting notices. October 21, 2021 meeting with members identified as Sherrick, McKeever, Myers, and me. December 9th, 2021, January 6, 2022, January 10th, 2022, January 20th, 2022, and January 27th, 2022 meetings were held or were scheduled with members identified as Sherry, McKeever, Myers, and Vermillion. Excuse me, you're at five minutes. So thank you. If you have anything further, you can feel free to email it. Thank you. You are really not gonna let me finish this one <clears throat> last. Well, we just passed rules and procedures for three minutes. You complained that three minutes wasn't long enough, so we went five, which was the original, and you're gonna extend past that. So I'm gonna call five minutes. I complained, yes, that three minutes is not yes. enough time. I understand and I that. And I prepared my speech. And during our discussions, if I may, during our discussions prior to this being passed, it was brought up that you were able to bring your point to order in three minutes. So there was no point to go any further than five. Who said that? You did. It was pointed out that you were able to make your point in three minutes. And I have not, as Councilman McKeever has pointed out, I have not reiterated anything. I have read. I've not repeated the same thing over and over. I am pleased asking. You have the discretion yes, to I allow do. me. Yes, I do. And, and I called it five minutes. Thank you. You have further to say. You can email it. Thank you. Let's proceed. Do we have any communications or petitions? No. All right. Standing committee reports, Platting? Uh, Mr. Richardson has something to say. Mr. Richardson, you're the only one Mr. Sean would like for me to read this last paragraph. Mr. Richardson, are you doing this consensually? Pardon? Are you doing this consensually? As far as agreeing with this? Yeah. I would agree to read it for her, yes. But whatever she says, I don't know. I don't have my opinion on this whatsoever. But she would like for me to finish this last back paragraph for her. May I? <clears throat> I think we just did uh, 
organizations and positions while you go back there. So we already passed that. We've, we've gone past. Sure. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jim. You are not on the committee. <laughs> You are not on the ad hoc committee. For no, ma'am, I am not, but I am running this meeting. But you, you have gone to a meeting and voted, and you're not on that meeting. Nowhere in the council minutes, council minutes or committee minutes, were you appointed to replace me. Replace you? Me. She's Jim Me. Jim Me is the one that you placed on that committee for ad hoc for council rules and procedures. You're not on that committee, but you've been attending. You attended the meeting on, Jan <clears throat> on December the 9th, then January 6th, and I know the meeting's in January. Mr. Mee is no longer a council member. Point of order. Yes, Mr. McKeever. We will proceed with going on with communication petitions. We'll investigate this. That's I my have point, to that's my point of order. <clears throat> Standing committee reports. Platting. I don't have anything at this moment. Public lands and buildings. No, I have nothing at this point. Health and safety. No report, Madam President. Finance. No report. Economic development. No report. Service. No report this time. Traffic Commission, Mr. Mayor? There's nothing to report for traffic, Madam okay. President. All right, moving on to report of city officials. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Madam President. Okay. Uh, just about halfway through winter, everybody knows that uh, we got a storm coming, and uh, we hope this could be the last storm. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, John. So anyway, thank you again, Madam President. Uh, ask everybody to uh, monitor the weather uh, <clears throat> tomorrow night. Please stay safe. Um, and uh, if you see our snow plows out, which I'm sure you will, give them a wide berth. Uh, just to let you know, they've been doing a fantastic job. We have uh, uh, several new people that are learning the ropes. We lost uh, four people of the retirements. And of course, uh, Mr. Schuster passed away, a very reliable person in the streets department. And uh, just have some patience. The more snow, the more patience is needed, right? Jeff Dunn does a great job. Uh, we said goodbye last week to Gary Frankhouse, who did a, uh, another fine job leading the economic development effort in Bucyrus and Crawford County. Um, he recognized that uh, uh, economic development is more than attracting jobs it's developing a workforce that meshes with the jobs that you are attracting and the jobs that you have and he was excellent in that and uh, maintaining relationships with um, the area employers and the area schools um, and so many changes came about during his tenure so i also realized uh, that quality of life issues that were very important in attracting young families very important to them today and uh, we want to thank him uh, he'll be missed i know they're uh, have an executive committee to interview people. They've already had some good applications, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, speaking of quality of life issues, you will be voting this evening on several issues that will be critical in, in improving Bucyrus. There's lots of needs out there. Uh, we have millions and millions of dollars of needs. Uh, but I think uh, the voting that you did out of committee of uh, investing in the future here that everyone can use from uh, every 12, all 12,000 citizens plus visitors to our, to our community can use that uh, in, in the uh, splash parks and and the paths that we have uh, uh, in plan. Uh, one one thing to keep in mind here, the <clears throat> these are critically important for use because we need to improve our health, especially coming out of a pandemic. Uh, a lot of physical and mental health issues, especially, and been shown that getting outside is critical to maintaining good mental health. Uh, congratulations to Governor, Lieutenant Governor, for landing uh, Intel Semiconductor Plant. Uh, we're already working on a plan to um, ensure that Bucyrus is chosen for a spin-off plant by uh, researching where their plants are now and who their spin-offs 
uh, factories are. And uh, the same way we did for uh, uh, attracting suppliers for Honda. And I think that would be a very good goal if we can get, you know, one, two, three of those plants here in the next several years. So, uh, real briefly, uh, I don't know if Joyce is going to mention this, but uh, tax revenue was up slightly in January. Okay, reports came out today. Uh, I know the last two Januaries have been exceptional. And uh, to be able to match those figures from last year was, was very good. We um, were not sure because of places being closed, shortened hours, uh, uh, right in the height of COVID. Uh, so things have actually uh, looking up and we'll just hope and pray that it continues. And that's all I uh, have for my report. Do you want me to go into sir? Yes, director? if you would, okay. please. Thank Jeff's you. Jeff's got some referrals. Uh, the ambulance building on North Sandusky to public lands and buildings and finance. The 2022 salt bids to service and finance. And the Excuse North. Me, Mr. Mayor, that's, that's listed under materials. The number two is for the salt. Um, no, that's different. Material bids are okay. different. Different. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be different. And then we. The, the last one for the referral is. Uh, North Robinson Waterline Project. Going to possibly do some expansion there. Material bids are different. Uh, they're, they're being advertised will be opened on February 15th at 10 a.m. right here in City Council uh, Chambers. Farmland bids are also being advertised right now and uh, they will be open on March 1st at 10 a.m. here in Council Chambers. Uh, every five years, we're required to go out for what's called RFQs, request for quotes for the airport. Uh, that's an order from the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. And we need to send out those every five years. So we're working on those right now. Uh, Parcher Road is coming um, quickly. Uh, even in a nasty month, we're, uh, we're getting ready to um, fire it up. And if anybody on Parcher Road uh, is still thinking of getting water, let us know. Uh, need lifeguards for the pool this year. It's not too early to start there. So if anybody is interested in being a lifeguard, please stop up the mayor's office for an application. And uh, one more, I guess there is one more referral. The traffic light project would go to health and safety and finance. Jeff Dunn will be here uh, at the next committee meetings to discuss some uh, ideas on traffic lights. And that's all for Jeff's report. And you said the salt? Yeah, salt to salt's going to go to service and finance. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Madam President. Mr. Law Director. I'm sorry. We need to vote to for the referral. Oh, I'm sorry. Jump in the gun. All right, so we have the ambulance building referral to public lands and buildings and finance. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. We've got the salt purchase referral to service and finance. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Motion carried. The North, Robin, Rob, sorry, North Robinson Waterline Expansion referral to service. service. Mm -hmm. So moved. Second. Service and finance. Service and finance. Yes. Service and finance. I amend that to. You amend to service and finance? Yes. Thank you. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The traffic light project to health and safety and finance? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Um, did I miss anything? I think you got it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> now, Mr. Walker. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Um, nothing really to update as far as the law director's office goes. Uh, business as usual. There was a question about
committee sizes, and if our committees were four members, does this create an actual meeting? Um, they did some research into other municip municipalities, some research into case law, spoke with a officer from the Attorney General's office and some fellow law directors, and uh, the general consensus is the size of committees is inconsequential, provided all of the notice and public meeting requirements are met. So if council's happy with four member uh, committees, then that's well and good. Um, multiple of the places that I looked at had, um, Toledo has 12 members on their council and they have a committee with eight of their 12 members on that council. They also have a different committee with three members on that council. So I'm not sure why the difference in that, but um, based upon my research, uh, as long as the important part is obviously to have public meeting notice and requirement and make sure we meet all of those. And that's my answer. Thank you. Mrs. Schiffer. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, you have my month end reports, the statement of cash position, and you've got income tax comparisons. I did see, though, that um, there's only one side of this that was printed. It should be uh, another page to this. So, uh, you can get that. But uh, as the mayor mentioned, it's as the mayor mentioned, uh, the revenues were up 1% uh, for this month as compared to last year. Uh, we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, it always varies, but it looks like a good start to the year. Uh, but our revenue tallies to budget aren't all right at target at this point. But like I say, that, that varies depending on when various monies come in. So review, and if you have any questions, uh, you can give me a call or shoot me an email, and I'll be glad to uh, meet with you or, or get you an answer as soon as I can. And the, the best part of my report tonight is I have no referrals. Treasurer's <laughs> <laughs> report. No, we don't even have the bank statements yet for her okay. to be able to okay. reconcile. Okay, so. we'll no report from Chief Ossenheimer or Chief Schwenley. Uh, Schwenley said he'll have his there next report. report. Yeah. Right here. We do have Ossenheimer. Okay. Mr. Myers, would you like to read that for us? Be happy to. Uh, monthly report. For January 2022 for the police department, besides police officers were involved in a total of 602 incidents, 91 traffic stops in which 14 tickets were issued. Of those tickets, 10 were for driving under suspension. Two people were arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. And officers made five felony drug arrests in January. On January 26, 2022, Officer Weyerman made a traffic stop in the area of Schauber and Fremont Street. During the stop, the officer observed the driver reaching in his pockets and despite several requests to stop doing so, the driver continued to reach into his pockets. The officer got the man out, of, out to perform a pat down at which time a violent fight ensued with the officer being struck in the face and the suspect grabbed for the officer's pistol. The suspect eventually broke free and fled but was apprehended a couple of minutes later without further incident. A search of the car turned up a loaded pistol and drug paraphernalia. The suspect is being held in jail and his case will be presented to the grand jury. On January 29th, 2022, Officer Weyerman attempted a traffic stop in the area of East Irving and Plymouth Street. The driver of the vehicle fled and a car chase began. The male driver ran on foot in the area of Earl Street and Wilbur Street. He was apprehended by a second officer. Marijuana, suspected cocaine, and cash was recovered from the driver and vehicle. The suspect is being held in jail and his case will be presented to the grand jury. Officers responded to 29 domestic calls, zero overdoses, eight assaults, 13 traffic crashes, five private property crashes, 41 vehicle lockouts, and 14 larceny complaints. And dispatchers handled 27 emergency medical dispatch calls. Thank you very much. Well, the zero overdoses is... That's good news. That is good news, after being number three at one point per capita in the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. Do I have a motion to accept the city officer's reports? So moved. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Visitors wishing to approach? Seeing none, moving on. Consideration of proposed legislation for the first time. <clears throat> Proposed ordinance number 08-2022, reimbursing sufficient monies in the amounts of 20% from the sewage disposal fund, 20% from the waterworks fund, 20% from the solid waste management fund, and 20% from the stormwater utility fund for the benefit of the city's general fund to defray 2021 operation costs of the city of Becerra's municipal offices and authorize and directing the city auditor to draw their upon therefore in declaring an emergency proposed ordinance number 10-2022 vacating a street being 128.13 feet in length on the west side and 128.21 feet in length on the east side and 16.51 feet in the in width beginning at the south end of Inez street between part of outlet 106 to the east part of outlet 107 to the south and in lots 1106, 1107, and 1108 to the west. Proposed ordinance number 11-2022, an ordinance amending and supplementing section 919.05 of chapter 919 reservoirs of title three water part nine streets, utilities and public services code of the codified ordinance of the city of Bucyrus, Ohio. Resolu uh, proposed resolution number 205-2022, <coughs> authorizing and directing the Bucyrus Public Service Safety Director on behalf of the City of Bucyrus, Ohio, to advertise for bids and to enter into a contract or contracts not to exceed 605000 with the lowest and best bidder or bidders for the Splash Park, Unger Park Trail, and Amiller Park Path Project. And finally, authorizing and directing the Bucyrus City Auditor to draw a warrant or warrants in payment, therefore, from the appropriate appropriation or appropriations and declaring an emergency. <clears throat> Proposed resolution 206-2022, authorizing and directing the Bucyrus Public Service Safety Director on behalf of the City of Bucyrus, Ohio, to advertise for bids to enter into a contract or contracts not to exceed 1.6 million with the lowest and best bidder or bidders in connection with the furnishing of the necessary labor, materials, and equipment to improve the portions of the streets and alleys identified on the attached exhibit A referred to as 2022 Mill and Pave Program and to the extent that appropriate funds permit such other portions of the street and alleys for which the City of City Bucyrus is responsible for maintenance or inflammation as Council may specifically approve. Finally, authorizing and directing the Bucyrus City Auditor to draw a warrant or warrants in payment therefore from the appropriate appropriation or appropriations and declaring an emergency. All right. We have a motion to accept these as the first reading. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? All right. Referring back to the originating committees, proposed ordinance 08-2022, referred back to finance. Proposed ordinance 10-2022, referring back to platting. Proposed Ordinance 11 2022 referring back to health and safety. <coughs> proposed Resolution 205 2022 referred back to public lands and buildings. And Proposed Resolution 206 2022 referring back to platting. Any public participation? I think they have a current paper in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> if it be bigger, it would catch more eyes to look at. I'm sure. And that's true. <clears throat> Vicki Deshawn, 1108 Hillcrest Drive, Bucyrus. Um, ordinance number 8-2022. The numbers do not add up to $366,994.04. I know where the air is. I just don't know how receptive you are to me telling you where it's at, or do you want the auditor to figure out where the mistake is? Auditor, 
I'm looking at the paper that the auditor gave to council on January 19th, 2022, or it's dated January 19, 2022. You take a figure of 118,078.52 and multiply that by 75% you come up with 88,558.89, not 88,558.23. And by changing that figure, then you arrive at the 366,994.04 figure. Then resolution number 205-2022. If you'll notice in the caption, it just refers to um, entering into contract or contracts not to exceed $605,000. At the January 27, 2022 Special Finance Committee meeting, a motion was made by Myers with a second by Spiegel to agree with the request for legislation from public lands and buildings not to exceed $275,000 for the splash pad, not to exceed $187,000 for the All Miller Trail, and not to exceed $143,000 for the Unger Trail for a grand total not to exceed of $605,000. And that's a quote taken right from the audio recording. I'm questioning why are we not identifying the not to exceed figures in the caption and in the body of the legislation? Because that is what was in the motion. Okay. Is there any others? Yes, ma'am. He also just said to go to bids, not to enter contract to find out what was out there. That was stated that day, too. We weren't doing anything but seeing what was out there and if we could do anything with this. Right. This now allows them to go into contract. So I was already questioning that as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. We promised to come back once we got the bids. This doesn't we say that. Come back to council. I don't think, I'm not sure you were there for the next meeting. Okay. This doesn't say that. Right. This says and go into contract. That doesn't say come back to council. Okay. Take out the language that says and then go into contract. All right. Um, I think we need to recess while these corrections are made get those taken care of. So we're going to recess at 7.38. Thanks, we're reconvening at 8 p.m. Okay. For consideration of proposed legislation for the first time. I Okay. Being right, that's fine. You guys that's all right. That's right. <laughs> Ordinance number 08-2022, reimbursing sufficient monies in the amounts of 20% from the sewage disposal fund, 20% from the water works fund, 20% from the solid waste management fund, and 20% from the stormwater utility fund for the benefit of the city's general fund to defray 2021 operation costs of the city of the of Bucyrus municipal offices and authorizing and directing the city auditor to draw thereupon therefore in declaring an emergency the numbers down below council members and clerk ninety six thousand thirty five dollars and twenty three cents legal advertising seven thousand four hundred forty five dollars and ten cents mayor forty one thousand three hundred twenty eight dollars and fifty one cents Auditor, $88,558.89. Treasurer, $8,986.88. And Law Director and Assistant, $124,639.43 for a total of $366,994.04. I'm going to speak off this if you want me to go. Okay. Madam President, yes, sir. that piece and the other piece will need to pursue the precise codified ordinance 111.19, suspend the, the rules of council 
allowing it to be amended and then read on the floor and then proceeded to pass in an emergency. So we need to suspend, to suspend Rule 111.11 right. to require the amended version to go back to committee and come back out of committee. Do I have that? Probably not. Fair. Now pass the suspension of second and third readings. So you just need a motion in a second to suspend the local council rules, specifically Rule 111.11, requiring the amended, um, amended, amended legislation come back out of the committee. All right. Do I so have a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. All right. Then you can proceed. What am I proceeding with? You to... I read it for the first reading. Yes, yeah, so you need somebody to accept that first. Okay. For a motion and a second to accept it. I need a motion and a second to accept this as the first reading. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. You need a motion and a second on 205 2022 to suspend Rule 111 and allow <coughs> the amended form to be read today for the first reading. Okay. Without having to come back out of the committee. Do I, I so have a first? I make a motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Go ahead and read that one. <coughs> Proposed resolution number 205-2022, authorizing and directing the Bucyrus Public Service Safety Director on behalf of the City of Bucyrus, Ohio, to advertise her bids not to exceed $275,000 for the Splash Park, $187,000 for Unger Park Trail, and $143,000 for the Amiller Park Path Project, and declaring an emergency. That's, you got it backwards. Mm. The Amiller Park should be 187 and eight. Yep. Unger Park is 143. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Before you vote on that, those, those are the wrong numbers. It's the Unger Park Trail. Is uh, we can amend that here. And the yeah. uh, okay. Almiller Park Trail is 187. These two numbers are transposed. They need to be switched. Yep. Okay. I put it out quick. All right, we're going to recess at. Well, can't we While you're doing that, remove page one from one from the top. Okay. All right. 805. All right. We're reconvened at 812. And okay, this paper here. Okay. We have a first and a second and a carried motion to suspend the local rule. 111.11 to allow for the amended version of 205-2022 to be read in its amended form without first referred to the committee and report back to council. So you would go ahead and read it. Okay, proposed resolution number 205-2022 authorizing and directing the Bucyrus Public Service Safety Director on behalf of the City of Bucyrus, Ohio to advertise for a bid not exceeding $275,000 for the Splash Park 140,000 for the Unger Park Trail. 43. And, huh? Oh, 143,000, I'm sorry. For the Unger Park Trail and 187,000 for the Amalur Park project, Path Project and declaring an emergency. All right. Do we have a first to accept this as a first reading? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries. Okay. So, proposed ordinance 08 2022 is referred back to finance. Correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. And yep. proposed resolution 205 2022 is referred back to public lands and buildings. Okay. Committee report on pending legislation 206. Oh, we have to read 206. No. Did we not read that the last time? We read the first reading. If we test it as an emergency, we have to refer it back. That could be wrong. Do you have two or six or 
Um, it was red. What's up? Is that what your question was? It was red. It was red. Yeah. It has to be referred back. Yeah, yeah, she didn't get that far. Yeah, because yeah, we stopped it. 205. Gotcha. Um, proposed resolution 206 2022 is referred back to planning. Okay. Good. Committee report on pending legislation proposed ordinance 08 2022 annual enterprise funds reimbursement finance. Finance uh, is favorable to the annual enterprise fund reimbursement proposed ordinance 08 2022. Thank you. Proposed ordinance 10 2022 to vacate the portion of Inez Street platting. Platting is favorable to ordinance, proposed ordinance 10 2022 to vacate the portion of Inez Street. Proposed ordinance 11 2022 update and amend BCO 91905 Health and Safety. Health and safety is favorable to proposed ordinance 11 2022 updating and amending BCO 919.05. Proposed resolution 205 2022 advertise for bids for the ARPA projects, public lands, and buildings. Public lands and buildings is favorable to proposed resolution 205 2022. Proposed resolution 206 2022 advertise bids for the 2022 mill and pave platting. Platting is favorable to proposed resolution 206-2022 advertise bids for 2022 mill and pay. Right. <clears throat> Further consideration of proposed ordinance 08-2022 for the second and third readings of proposed ordinance 08-2022. Do I hear a motion to suspend the rules, waive the readings of the caption and text, and declare an emergency? So moved. Second. Ms. Sherry. Who was the first? Wireball. Mr. Wireball. Wireball. <clears throat> okay. McKeever? No, Wireball. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Wireball was first. Oh, okay. So Wireball was first. Yes. Sherrick was second. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes. All right. Wireball? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Potter? Yes. Do I hear a motion to adopt proposed ordinance 08-2022? So moved. Second. Keep mm -hmm. McKeever? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Ordinance number 08-2022 is duly adopted. Proposed resolution. 205 dash, that should be 2022. Nope. Um, for the second and third readings, the proposed resolution 205 dash 2022. Do I hear a motion to suspend the rules, waive the readings of the caption text, and declare an emergency? So moved. Second. Okay. Wireball? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Potter? Yes. Sherrick? Yeah. Do I hear a motion to adopt proposed resolution 205-2022? So moved. Second. Who is this? Young, you said? Mm -hmm. Potter? Yes. Young? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Resolution 205-2022 is duly adopted. <coughs> Proposed resolution 206-2022. For the second and third readings of proposed resolution 206-2022, do I hear a motion to suspend the rules with the readings of the caption and text and declare emergency? So moved. Oh, second. Wireball? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Oh, sure. Sorry. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Potter? Yes. Do I hear a motion to adopt proposed resolution 206 2022? So moved. Second. Sherrick first. Okay. Sherrick? Yes. 
McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. Proposed resolution 206 20 I'm sorry, 2022 is duly adopted. All right. Do we have any old or unfinished business? Um, we do need to discuss Thursday's meeting with the pending weather coming through. Um, it's up to you guys to consider canceling the meeting. Anybody live out of town? <laughs> <laughs> if you do, don't say anything. <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> My only question I had was, um, should that happen, um, the piece for consent for the annexation, how is that impacted and what would we need to do um, about that was my only question. So the consent or objection to the annexation needs to be filed with the county by February 4th, which would be Friday, if you're counting 25 days after it was filed. Um, but that was one of those things where the only agreed parties would be the city, the county, myself, and the township. And if you don't consent to it, uh, or if you don't object to it, you're deemed to have consented to it. And kind of like last time, we could put it whereas there was a natural snow accumulation which caused us un to be unable to meet and do this in a timely manner. How do we want to do it? Can we play it by ear with that as far as? Well, we have to give notice that we're not going to sure. be in session. Ms. Sharon? I was going to say, how much notice do we do with an emergency? I mean, because if we don't end up getting hit with all that that we're supposed to, I mean, we can all get in here. But if we do, I mean, should we have a backup date? Like That was where I was going with I'd that say, question. I like, need Monday if, like, if the shit hits the sham. I mean, and, and, and I think in all technicality, you don't have to cancel the meeting till a minute before the meeting. But I think you owe it to to us and to the public to to you know, let people make their plans accordingly. If that's because I, I, I was gonna say, I think it's we would only be canceling the meeting if we were like under a snow emergency level, yeah. whatever. Level at, three. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, legally, none of us would even or anybody else wouldn't be allowed out on the road. You know. It's up to you guys. What do you want to do? Is anybody free for Monday if we have to reschedule? Is there a need to meet on Monday versus just waiting the two right, weeks we is my next wait. question. Well, I didn't know if we really should, I mean, even though it's late, go ahead and do that stuff for the annexation. Well, you're already past the deadline. But that's why I said, even, so though, if you did even, though, it's, on even though it's late, I, it, I mean, if we were planning on saying something, it would still look good because, you know, whereas we had been unable to meet, you know, waiting two weeks makes us look kind of like we didn't care. I'm just, I mean. But didn't the law director say that if we didn't pass it, it goes into effect anyhow? Yeah. So It's deemed consent if you don't yeah. pass it. <clears throat> so that's a... We can't meet, it's going to go, right? In your opinion. <laughs> Why don't we keep it scheduled unless we have a level, right. we have a level three? Well, definitely. Can we say that we'll make it, have you make a decision prior to, or somebody make a decision prior to noon on Thursday? I will be in Columbus with sure. my son being in Yeah. Right. So I say, I say not till three o'clock. i make a decision. Probably. Because you know, noon. I say yeah, because they can do a whole lot with the roads between yeah. noon and three. But between one and five is when it's supposed to be coming down. <laughs> <laughs> one one inch an hour. But I mean, exactly. So we wouldn't even know at noon. That's right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is this much harder? Just rescheduling. Madam President. Yes, sir. It's going to be in Columbus. Do you want to designate some? member here to make the call? Well, it's a committee meeting, so it would really fall right. on each committee chair yeah, if you're doing it that way. Okay, but. Of course. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, if, if we have a level three, um, 
Even if it's level two, we close. Right. How about if it's level one, we meet. If it's two or three, we don't. I'm, I'm good with that. Good with that? Yep. yep. All right. So. Is there, is there any of the referrals that need to be done? <coughs> right. Like That's what I was looking at. Yeah, we just got like those new referrals. Be, uh, they have to be referred on that. Is there a time limit on those? Were there any of those that you had asked for? Yeah, the, the salt bed is the one, yeah. right? Yeah, the salt bed. North Robinson. We would have to request a special meeting if we did it sooner, so you guys could check on that and let us know if we okay. needed to call a special meeting. Monday might well, work. That's what I was going to say. I mean, yeah. if we can just have a backup day, I mean, yeah. okay. that way, I, I hate not. Yeah, I'd say let them check to see if any of that has time constraints, and if so, and if not, you can wait till the 17th. We'll let you know. Okay. Now, check your emails. I'll do it so one we're doing. Okay. okay. So referrals, we're looking at the annexation of 1145 West Mansfield Street to Platting, the salt purchase to service and finance, ambulance building to public lands and buildings and finance, North Robinson water line expansion to service and finance, and the traffic light project I didn't write down. Health to health and safety and finance. Point of order, um, the yes. annexation of 1145 West Mansfield. Are we considering that an open project or are we going to vote now to refer that? Because that's the only one tonight we didn't vote on. That's an open project, right? I would say it was. Well, it was referred previously, but legislation right. came out of it that we had to do, so <coughs> lawyer's opinion not, matters. I would. I'll to to planning. planning. I'll second right. that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. Okay. All right, I need a motion and a second to enter into executive session at 8.26 p.m. to discuss pending and eminent le legislation. Litigation. Litigation. That's not what that says. <laughs> and second? Second. All right, we are in executive session at 8.26. Point of order, need to vote with roll uh, call vote. Place. Roll call vote. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. We are in executive session at 827. Don't start your oh, I know. I'm waiting. Okay. Okay. It's 910. Do I have a motion to come out of executive session? So moved. Second. Sherrick? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Young? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Potter? Yes. We are out of executive session at 910. All right. I guess all that's left is a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. <laughs> I, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> all right, all those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned at 9-11.